Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about getting your videos from Premiere Pro to Instagram. Now if you've ever tried to do this, you've probably run into a few issues. I found that two of the main problems are the export settings and the upload process. Now if you look in the export settings dialog box, you'll find a number of different presets. Under the H.264 format, you'll find presets for Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Vimeo. But there is nothing provided for Instagram. So this obviously leads to a lot of confusion as to what frame size you should use, what's the bit rate that you should use. Now the second issue is the upload process. There's still, at the time of the publication of this video, there's still no way to upload content directly from a desktop. And once again, if you look in the export settings dialog box, there's a publish tab, and there's a number of options to immediately upload to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Vimeo directly after you're done exporting, but there's still no options for Instagram. I'm gonna take you step-by-step step through the process of how you can get your videos from Premiere Pro to Instagram, and we're gonna solve both of these problems. So for step one, we're gonna export. That's right, step one is export. Now I could go through and tell you all the sequence settings and the specific export settings, but I'm not gonna do that. I've created some export presets that you can use. These things are plug and play, they're awesome. And if they don't work for you, just try tweaking some of the settings and create your own presets based off of these presets. You can get the presets at the link in the video description. Now there are four export presets. I have one for vertical, square, landscape, and Instagram stories. Once you've downloaded them, go to the export settings dialog box and click on the install presets button, and then simply grab all four of the presets and install. Now when you go to export, simply select the H.264 format, and then check out the presets and all of your Instagram presets should now be in place. For step two, you wanna transfer your video to your device. Now I do this using Google Drive. You can also use Apple AirDrop or Dropbox. For the final step, I'm gonna to share to Instagram. I can share it directly from the Google Drive app, or if I'm making an Instagram story, I might need to download that video to my device. And there you have it, your video is now on Instagram. Again, you can download these presets in the link below. I've also included a number of overlay presets, which are these graphic files that you can simply drag over your video, and they serve as a guide to show you the resolution of each particular preset. For instance, for Instagram stories, you'll see that resolution as an overlay on your video, and then you can crop or reposition your video content accordingly. When you put those guides in your timeline, you may need to select set to frame size so that it formats properly. If you like this video, give it a like, be sure to subscribe to my channel, share the presets with your friend, and I will see you on Instagram.